Among all the cancellations and postponements are many couples who are postponing one of the most important days of their lives. Local 5's Eva Anderson is here with the story. Jack, Tony and Adrian were high school sweethearts, meeting at Southeast Polk High School in Des Moines. They've had a long time to plan their special day, and now we'll have to wait even longer. A few of our invitations and save the date. It was a day oh, six night. years in the making. We got together uh, junior year of high school in March. Years after they shared their first dance. That was senior formal. Yeah, you look a little different without the beard. Yeah. That Adrian decided to build Tony a custom jewelry box and make his high school sweetheart <laughs> his forever sweetheart. Just the special one for me. So she has to have something special for her. But after a year of intense planning, that special day set for May won't be happening. It was pretty devastating because um, we had put a lot of time and energy and money, especially deposits, have gone into this date. Amidst the COVID-19 outbreak, they postponed their wedding for the safety of friends and family, including Tony's immunocompromised mother with Crohn's disease. That'd be a really special moment for her to be there for. Her venue was flooded with date change requests. They were given an option in August and jumped on it, not knowing if things would even return to normal by then. We can't get to be with, you know, the vendors that we chose initially, so it's just the scrambling. But the scramble, she says, is worth it. It was almost a no-brainer because I don't want to put anybody at risk. Hanging on to a message Adrian put inside Tony's jewelry box. But you know, happiness can be found even in the darkest times if one only remembers to turn on the light. A light that will always shine when they're together. It doesn't matter what day it is, just being with you, you know, it's going to be great. Adrian made a promise to Tony that even if they have to postpone the August ceremony, they will be getting married by the end of 2020, even if it's in the courthouse. In the studio, Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.